Jesus uh, gives us a lesson concerning the mustard seed. We find this in the 13th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. And he tells us that a mustard seed is a very tiny seed. But he says that when the uh, farmer goes and he throws it out, then it goes into the ground and it becomes a huge tree. And uh, biggest of all the herbs, it says. And the birds come and they live in the trees. And the point to it is something that is so seemingly insignificant, like that little seed, that can become a tremendous blessing. Well, I take that and uh, I use it as a concept in my life and in my teaching. It has to do with things that grow. And nature teaches us this, that if something is healthy, it will grow. That's just a natural thing. And I'm, I'm the son of a farmer. Grew up on a farm. I know a little something about growing things. And, uh, and I know that there's a certain amount of care that goes into making a uh, successful venture when you plant a seed. And all of that just teaches us about growing things and about things that are healthy and the things that produce well, you see, I take that and I equate it to the kingdom of God. As a matter of fact, this is a teaching that Jesus gave us. He said, concerning the kingdom of God. And that's why he used the mustard seed, because the mustard seed is a wonderful analogy of taking something that's small and causing it to grow and to flourish and to be a blessing in so many different ways. But I think about personal life, and I think about spiritual growth, and I think about how that uh, my faith can increase as life goes on. All that has to do with, with planning and expecting a return on that which you have planted. We see, if I'm a person that says, Lord, give me great faith. Well, God's not just going to just zap you on the head, and all of a sudden you've got great faith. No, what God's going to do is he's going to take you through a series of circumstances in your life. And he's going to allow you to have some bumps and bruises along the way. And he's going to build faith in you. And it will be a process. But when he has accomplished it, and let me add this to it, that you don't give up and just surrender to uh, oftentimes things that are difficult. Because you remember, Scripture tells us that him who God loves, he's going to chasten. And a part of growing in faith is understanding that the chastings of life will come. But it's all designed to enhance the fruit. And the fruit would simply be to say, that I would become a person who is strong in my faith and able to impart that faith to other human beings that would be a blessing. But it doesn't come easy. And that's the teaching of the mustard seed. It's small in the beginning, but it will grow if it's tended to. This is Pastor Jack King with the Gospel on the radio broadcast.